and welcome back to my channel. I feel like as soon as I said, let's record, now I hear people mowing grass outside. So, ignore that. And um, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. This is gonna be like a chit chat, get ready with me type video, but I am going to be specifically talking about finances, how I pay for my Tesla, how I save the money, the process of buying the Tesla, and some other things about Tesla because you guys have a lot of questions that you posted in my car tour video. And if you guys have not seen that, I'll put it right here. I'll put it right there. Okay, so I'm not going to necessarily be talking about what I'm putting on my face, but I will have everything that I use in the description bar below. Wants to tell you guys everything, how I pay for it and everything, but Teslas are electric cars, so you have to charge them. There is no gas in this car. Like, you can't get gas. It's not a hybrid. It's completely electric. It only runs off of battery and a computer. The cost of a Tesla Model 3, which is the car that I got, they have an S, an X, they have a Y coming out, and this is the 3, so they have 4. Um, they have 4 freaking cars, and um, this is actually the most affordable one. This is the one that Elon Musk, who's the owner of Tesla, he was like, you know what? I'm going to use all the funds from all these other expensive Teslas that we've been producing, and I'm going to produce a a more affordable car because he wants the environment to be nice and fresh and without that carbon dioxide and everything else that goes comes out of a car and goes into a car and all that stuff so um, y'all I can just start talking and I ain't gonna be done dip my makeup but um yeah so it is a completely electric car and the thing that I got a lot of questions about people asking me um about the charging of course you would like to know if you're not going to be going to get gas like how you gonna keep the car running so of course y'all know I do YouTube so I'm here full-time like I'm just sitting here full-time doing videos so my car can be charging when I'm home at all times like I'm not going out and everywhere like I don't even have that many places to go I just plug mine in at the house there's a lot of different charging options you guys so you have the regular plug to your house then you have the home charger that you can use now the difference is my charger that I have that you just plug into a regular outlet it will only charge your car like five uh, miles per hour so let's just say you go to work with 250 miles and your commute um is 50 miles so you're gonna come back with um 150 miles you know what i'm saying so overnight it won't take you as long to charge your car because you're not all the way empty you know what i'm saying and all you gotta do is remember to plug it up when you get home but if you don't if you really want like a super faster charger Tesla do sell chargers, and they're $500 for that. Um, and you just have to get an electrician to install that. Now, that will charge your car up in, like, I think, 40 minutes from zero to full. So you can definitely get that. Now, a lot of people want to know, like, will it run up your bill, um, your electricity bill? And the answer is yes, but not by, like, a lot. It'll probably up it, like, depending on, like, how often you use it, how often you have to charge it, it'll probably range from, like, $20 a month or so um, probably additional to your electric bill but of course that's still cheaper than gas but these are not like just cars you just drive around in like these cars are actually meant to be driven long distances so like road trips it's meant to be a family car they actually did put a lot of effort into it and you guys there are chargers everywhere like you don't notice them because you don't have an electric car but there are chargers literally everywhere all you have to do is put your destination in the GPS and then from there, it will tell you how many times you need to stop. And they will let you know exactly where a Tesla supercharger is. Now, if you go to regular um, electric vehicle chargers, you don't actually have to pay anything. So you can just not charge at home and find a bunch of those electric chargers, like, you know, different areas. But the only thing about that is that you have to find something to do within that area. Most charging stations are within areas that are kind of busy so that you will have stuff to do. But... I don't know where you stay, so there's that. But then you have Tesla superchargers, and Tesla superchargers will charge your car literally in like, I went to Atlantic Station once, and it charged my car in like 30 minutes, and I thought it, it said 50 minutes at first, but y'all, it got done really, really quickly. I actually had to rush back to get it because I wasn't even ready to go. So, um, charging is just basically is not an issue. Like, that's, that's not an issue. It's just like saying... What you gonna do if you run out of gas? Like, I don't know. What you, why would you run out of gas? Like, don't run out of gas. <laughs> don't run out of charge. Like, there are charging places everywhere. They're everywhere. But, 
let's just move on to um because a lot of y'all really wanted to know like how i could afford it and all that good stuff and that's a valid question a lot of y'all was like oh she got youtube money you rich rich all that shit um that's definitely a no <laughs> um i am definitely not rich and you even being rich won't do anything if you got like crappy ass credit yeah you can pay for the shit out right but like, um, first of all, I want to let y'all know I financed the car, so I did not lease it. I did not buy it cash, cause a bitch ain't got fifty thousand dollars just laying around just to give away. When you are buying a new car, you your credit is what matters the most. When I tell you guys, they didn't ask me about. They asked me about my history on like my um like where I work and stuff like that, but they didn't take any of that into account. Like I didn't provide any type of documentation, any pay stubs. I didn't have to do any of that because my credit was good and I did I paid nothing down and I just have monthly payments how you doing <laughs> like that that was my whole goal I was just like a lot of people be like oh pay a down deposit so you can get like cheaper monthly rates girl paying if I would have put like let's just say if I would have put they would ask me for ten thousand dollars down if I would put ten ten thousand dollars down on that car it would have only brought it down two hundred dollars a month which is okay, but no, <laughs> like, no, uh, -uh. I'd rather just pay my monthly payments and not be out of $10,000 right now, you know what I'm saying, so that's just what I, just what I be thinking, and that's what I did, I financed it, I got a really great, great, um, APR, it's like at three point something, child, if you think about my credit, I have, I already have a house, I had another car and I had another car on my credit. One of the cars are paid off. Um, my bins, I, I still owe some money on it, but then I'm getting a new car. My credit history is what allowed me to basically purchase this car, okay? My purchase history looks good. They see that I'm actually paying my payments on time. They don't care where you're getting the money from, basically as long as you're paying them back. YouTube is actually what's going to pay the car off, but it's not the reason I got the car. It's not how I got the car. That's what I want y'all to know. Like, I haven't even been doing it long enough for them to even be able to count this as, like, income to even help me out. You know what I'm saying? This was this was just me. <laughs> my good old credit. My saving and, and shit. My eating ramen noodles. My no cable having that. So, I did want to tell you guys about the price of this car. This car does start at $35,000. But, with my car, I did get some upgrades to the car. So, um, I did want the autopilot, which it com the car completely drives itself, but it does need you to sit in the seat and be alert. So it's not like you could just go in the back seat and don't be there, but it does drive, it turns, it, get off on, it gets off on exits, like it will navigate to your destination if you buy, if you add that service on. And I did add it on because I wanted to add on the value. I wanted to increase the value of the car if I was to try to go pay it, you know, sell it back too. So... I was just, I be thinking ahead, you guys. I try to stop thinking in the now and think of in the future. And that was mainly why I purchased this car because electric cars get like so many like discounts and tax write off and you just get perks for having an electric car. Like it's just all around great. Not to mention it's electric so you're not paying for gas. Oh, and did I mention there's no maintenance on the car? There's no maintenance on the car. A lot of you guys were asking there's no maintenance, baby. Ain't no oil in the car. Ain't no oil in the car. That was another thing. When you add up how much you paying on maintenance and all that stuff, you just be like, okay. But my car is a brand new car. It is a 2019. And that's kind of how you have to purchase these cars. Um, there's If, if you're going to get a Model 3, they pretty much just came out. And there's not a lot of cars out there just floating. Like, they don't... Tesla doesn't have a car lot. So... This is how it's going to go. If you want to order a Tesla, this is how it's going to go. So you're going to order it online. And you can go into the store, but they're going to still order it online. So you can just order it online. You basically pick what color you want. You pick the interior. You pick if you want any upgrades. And you check out just like your ass is on PayPal. Dead ass. Like, that's how you do it. Um, and once you do that, it'll let you know, like, how long it's going to take. And then it'll let you, it'll ask you, it'll ask you, like, do you want to finance it through another bank? Do you want to finance through Tesla? Do you want to pay cash? Or do you want to lease it? They have all those options literally as you're checking out to buy your car. Like, it's the easiest process to purchase a car for tes from Tesla. I'm not going to lie. You, if you go in, there's no talking people down. They're not traditional, like, salesy, 
um, car people. That's not they. They're there to just assist you and show you the car because it's technology. So a lot of people don't know about how to use it. But they're not gonna like. You can't go in and be like, oh, I don't want to pay this price. Get the. They're gonna be like, okay, good, goodbye, get out. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like regular cars. You can't talk them down. There's, there's, you can't do none of that. So that's the only thing about buying a Tesla. But you order it online. They let you know when it's going to come, and you anticipate the hell out of it coming. <laughs> now, mine only took a week because I went with a car that was um, already, like, done. It had, like, three miles on it. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I had three miles, but like, it had three miles on it, and it was, like, already in the process of being shipped somewhere. So, like, it didn't take my car long. I looked at um, used inventory, but used inventory was literally, like, three miles, so... It was still a brand new car. So then they give you a delivery date. You go in and then of course you take your phone. They will program your key to your phone and then they will give you your keys which are just little credit cards and I will um, insert a picture here so you guys can check it out and like see what it looks like. But um, those you just slide it in front of the door, in front of the cameras and stuff. Um, and that's how you basically open the, open the door and stuff. So you do have other keys other than the phone. But a lot of people are like, well, what if my phone dies? You can also log in on an iPad, on something else, just to get into your car if that was something that you wanted to do. Um, if you knew, like, your logins and stuff, you know. Y'all making up stuff. It's just like, what if you leave, lose your key then? It's like, I don't know. They still give you keys. And you can also buy the key that has the, that's actually the, um, a shape of a car. You can buy that. It's like $50, I think, on the website. I don't need all that. Not right now. But I might get it. But not right now. A lot of people did ask about insurance as well. My insurance was the same. I'm, I'm with Progressive. So, um, they just switched it over. And it was a little bit less than my other car was. So, I did save a few coins, actually, by switching to Tesla. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people was really asking me how, I mean, like, why did, what made me get a Tesla? What made me pick a Tesla? I mean, clearly... A lot of the stuff I just mentioned, but like I said, like no maintenance, no gas. It like I did a whole list on Instagram and I put it right here, but like the list goes on and on and on of why. Like it's so beautiful, the technology in it. Like I'm a techie girl. I love technology. So I want I love sh that look crazy. That's just me. That's just what I love. It's my passion. Autopilot is like the bomb, the bomb.com. So going back to the credit, baby, going back to the credit. I feel like I got to say this because I don't want nobody to take none of this in this video the wrong way. No cash did not have an impact on me getting this car. But it does have an impact on me paying for that shit. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? I Don't go out there just because your credit good. Do not go out there buying Teslas, okay? The monthly payments ain't no joke. It ain't, it's not a joke. A hee hee, a hee hee hell. There's no joke, okay? You gotta start understanding the word repossession. Repo. Take your shit at your drive. Wait. All right? Don't play with it. Don't mess up your credit because you out here trying to get a Tesla and you ain't got, you can't keep up with the payments. Now, they may approve you to get it. In all instances, a lot of credit cards approve you to get stuff that does not mean you need to get it. Does not mean that you can afford it. Okay? If you out here and you really like to shop like that, I mean, unless you balling, balling, you gonna have to make some kind of sacrifice because these monthly payments more than my mortgage. So, just know, yeah, I didn't have to, I ain't put no money down. And yeah, I got approved for it. Yeah, I got a low APR. But I still gotta make these payments. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't cheap. I'm not saying they cheap at all. But, you also ain't, don't need to get all the upgrades that I got, like, you know? Like, I, I had to sacrifice on a few upgrades because I didn't get no color change because that's the extra $1,000. I didn't get, um, another, like, the white interior because that was another $1,000. So, I was just like, okay, I gotta, I really want the autopilot, though. Like, that's just something I wasn't gonna give up. So, I, you know, I scaled back on everything else. But that black on black on black look good in the book. Good in the book. Dang it. 
a lot of the stuff that I'm using is like drugstore. So, I mean, some of it ain't though. <laughs> okay, so I see a few more questions that you guys are asking me. Um, it goes from zero to 60 in three seconds, 3.4 seconds. Yeah, it's like hella fast. This car is hella fast. And I, y'all, like when, you, when I press the gas, like you can feel it in your stomach. Like if you floor it, listen, I be waiting on y'all. I be waiting on y'all at the red light. Sure do. That's me. I'm ready. Ready. When that light turn, I'm going to show out. Show out. <laughs> that be me. Oh, hey. Act like I don't see nobody. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. All the way. Yep. Can you use the Tesla app without Wi-Fi or data? I think so because it's Bluetooth. So, yes. How much am I expected to save in the first year since there's no gas oil changes? I don't know, but there are a lot of people who actually have that those videos out that will show you guys, like, um, how much they have saved um, in a year, how many miles they drove. Like, if you want to YouTube that, you could definitely go ahead. I just got mine, so I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. Is there any maintenance on the car? No. Um, if you don't have your phone, what do you use? The car, the key that they give you. Um, where does the spare tire fit? There is no spare tire. And I think because um, the guy thing said they have a four-year warranty. So a technician will come and fix it for you or something like that. I don't know. That's what he was kind of telling me. That we do have roadside assistance for the first four years, I know for sure. Um, so if anything happens to my car, they will come to me and fix it. Fancy ass bitch. That's what you send in your head. As you should. I think those are majority of the questions. I'm gonna find some more and make sure. I'm trying to make sure I answer all y'all questions in this video because I don't wanna have to make too many more of these. I just wanna like go ahead and you know driving and stuff and then I tell y'all later on about new updates and stuff. Actually, that's so funny. I literally just got an update. I just let the car update, so I'm ready to go outside and see like what updates have been added to my car. That's kinda cool. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I don't know why I just popped up like that. But a girl is done with my makeup, hi. Right. Um, and I'm done with the questions. I don't, I think I, I feel like I don't answer. Between the last video and this video, I feel like I've answered a lot. I feel like a lot of you may want to see me driving in it. Um, so car tour, not car tours, but like vlogs in the car may be coming. I don't know. I am rarely in the car, but I do like to talk in the car. So that might be a thing. But um, here's the makeup look. I like it. All I have on my lips, though, is a lip gloss. But I hope you guys really like this video. Hope it was very informative as far as credit goes. I hope that you guys kind of got a good idea of how that process works. I am going to have a savings video coming up for you guys. I just, I'm, I'm trying to get all the information in that I want to talk about and kind of have it in a more synchronized way. I feel like this video was probably all over the place, but um, I'm going to try to kind of get down my budgeting video and I will have you, I will, I will post it, okay? I'm gonna post it hopefully soon, fingers crossed. Focus on your credit, get your credit scores up, get your credit history on point. So, I mean, that's it. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.